Hello everyone, I'm Wen Rui Li, a PhD student from Purdue. Thank you for inviting us to introduce our recent paper, Direct Bus View CT Reconstruction, using LSTM processing of stacked back projections. Sparse view CT is important in wide range of applications because of its potential to reduce acquisition time and dosage. Analytical reconstruction methods perform fully with sparse views. So until recently, the only practical approach to sparse view reconstruction has been iterative methods such as model-based iterative reconstruction, MBIR. MBIR can produce high quality reconstructions from sparse data and can also incorporate prior models based on deep neural networks. However, MBIR tends to be computationally intensive. So today we are going to introduce a novel deep neural network based algorithm called SDP RSTM, which allows for computationally efficient direct deep neural network reconstruction going directly from the sinogram to the image. The key innovation of SDP RSTM is that by individually back projecting the views of the full sinogram into the image domain, it is possible to implement full direct reconstruction while maintaining a computationally efficient structure. Recently, tomographic image reconstruction using deep neural networks has emerged as a fundamentally new approach. Most of these new deep neural network methods can be divided into one of three possible categories. Image domain deep neural network. These methods use a deep neural network to post for sex the analytical reconstruction. Sinogram domain deep neural network. These methods use a deep neural network to enhance and or argument the sinogram data. Direct deep neural network. This method goes directly from the sinogram domain to the image domain without analytical reconstruction. The SDP RSTM algorithm begins by obtaining forward projections using some types of CT imaging system. Next, we form the stacked back projections by back projecting each view and stacking all the back projection together to form a single tensor. Notice that this tensor contains all the information from the original sinogram data and can therefore be used to perform direct reconstruction. Our SBP RSTM processing is shown in this slide. The SBP tensor goes through a 2D convolutional RSTM module and then the output is processed by a unit to get the final reconstruction. Consequently, the LSTM treats the sequence of back projections in the, in the SDP like a sequence of temporal wheels of progressively varying angles. Slide 9 shows how we implement a half rotational stress with LSTM processing. These two LSTMs have the same structure. However, the first RSTM used the original order sequence, while the second RSTM used a sequence that is stripped by half the number of views. This is done so that artifacts are not produced at the views angles corresponding to the beginning and the end of a single RSTM sequence. <clears throat> We generate synthetic data for our experiments from 3D reconstructions of suitcase. We use separate 3D suitcase images for training and testing. And we also use separate real experimental data for testing. Slide 11 presents a sample of our results. We compare our method with FBP unit and MBIR for both the synthetic and real data cases. From the images, we see that the SBP RSTM reconstruction are sharper with fewer and less severe shrieking artifacts. We draw three conclusions from our results. First, with the, RS, if the SBP RSTM architecture, deep learning reconstruction works well for sparse real data. Second, SBP allows for the simple implementation of direct sinogram to image reconstruction. First, LSTM processing of SDPs generates the best result in our experiments. 